Hello there everyone, welcome back to some more Divinity Original Sin. In the last episode what we did was we made it into the Phantom Forest and we had a good old poke around. Killed some Death Knights, killed Belbalith, and uh, freed Jehan's soul basically from Eternal Torment. Uh, now what we're going to do is kill some more Death Knights because they deserve it. And then explore this part of the map, including the Temple of the Dead. Um, so I've got no videos over the weekend. I was actually, well, for Saturday I went to the hospital. And I just wanted to make sure I was alright. I am okay. What it essentially boils down to is I need to do more uh, walking and more exercise because uh, all the blood pools up in my legs and that's no good. That is uh, muy no bueno. It's bad times. So, I need to make sure that I do something about that. So all that means is essentially, every couple of hours or so, I need to get up and walk around to save myself from being uh, many kill. Time to consult the and I don't, want, I don't want to be killed, so there we are. Ow. Leave Jehan alone, you big meanie fuckers. Yes. Hit the swordsman. This is his job. Is he gonna live? I think he may live. I don't care about that. Well, he would have lived if you didn't destroy him, you fuck. Okay, um... Is there a cooldown on this? Yeah, there is. But Joey hasn't used his either, so I think we're good. Stun failed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Some of this, like this. You, you were right there. Yeah, I know, but don't worry. Okay. Oh shit! Why do, why does everything keep missing? I right, kill one of the death knights. If we only have to deal with one. It'd be a lot better than having to deal with two. Right. You are nothing now. You are nothing. Now. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, Jayhan's gonna take some heat. He didn't die. Sweet. Okay. Um, we remember from last time that we don't really want to do anything to do with, uh, Anything outside of just killing them. Ice doesn't do anything to them, but freezing is useful, so that's why we do it. How likely are you to die this turn? Very un is the answer. Very un indeed. Right, that's fine. Unlikely is good. I like unlikely. And also... They are weak still because one's blinded and one's frozen, so they can't even hit me if they want. I am pleased with this. Jehan is good to go. He can just shock this guy to death. See you. And then the next one, we'll just shoot. Death Toodaloo. Is So that's what we want to do, basically. Go through all of these. Not be really bad. A uh, Death Knight with ranged. Into the fray once more. If the Death Knights had bows, I know they drop crossbows, but if they had like actual Love bows, it'd be really bad. Already. I wouldn't want that in my life.
Yeah, I'm keenly aware of my legs now when I sit down. It makes them hurt more than they probably should. But they could also be hurting now, not because of the cooling up in them, but because of uh, me doing more exercise than I wasn't doing any before. I've got to keep that in mind as well. What have you got stashed in here, Mrs. Cottontail? But hopefully it won't be so bad. If I just, uh, every few hours, get up move around, we'll be good. So I don't really know where I want to go. I guess I'll go up here. Some treasure there. Perhaps you'll find a monster, though. Oh well, there's just one way to know. Okay. Belagar. I pick the barrel in the back. At last, a myriad treasures at my fingertips lost. I hope you were choosy at least. Or did you leave the best bit to blow to smithereens? I didn't really look at what they were, to be honest. Just sort of pick take all. Because <laughs> I always pick take all. Fella guy, you tried, you tricked me. Well, you didn't really trick me, you just didn't tell me the whole truth. Also, yeah, uh, plans for the channel. I will play FF15 Windows Edition on the PC at some point. Um, I, I do want to very badly, so I shall. Uh, and that'll be a full playthrough and a full blind playthrough. I don't know if it'll be a 100% playthrough, and it'll also be long as all fuck, but I'll do it. But I need to get Vagrant Story done first, and Dark Souls 3, and... Uh, this. And once they're all done, then I'll think about it. Cursed poacher. Oh, okay, it's like a normal area, but the guys are all ghostly. Alright, fine. No problem. I like that. I don't like facing the unending darkness, but I do like Shooting boys. There we go, have some of this. Okay. Uh, Joey will summon Scalabob, as always. Just to give them someone to hit, mainly. They seem fairly weak because uh, even Jayhan's going first. What level are they? 17. Okay, so they're not weak. Necessarily. I'm going to storm as soon as I can next turn. Also, maybe there's a reason why I shouldn't kill them. But. Too late. Yeah, they might be glass cannons. That might be what's happening. Okay, he's dead. We had a good run. And the boar's gonna come for us now, but we're all the way down here. Find it highly unlikely he's gonna be able to hit more than a few times. Yeah. Oh, maybe the orcs and the humans were slaves and they're here, but now they've been all killed by the Phantom Curse. That's a possibility. Here we go. Frozen, but it still managed to work. Hmm. Me. Right. Tio, it's all up to you now. Well, I don't expect that to really do much, but it did work to my advantage. Just kill him. To the power of four. As good as a new penny. 
Yeah, so we all seem to be getting cursed or frozen when we attack. Which is interesting. Not how I choose to do it, but... Like, give him the old blind. Can I move closer? Yeah. They should be... Ah, uh, just not close enough. Fair enough. Right. Let's give him the freeze, then. I still made you... Yeah, it really is just Jehan who can move. God. La 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 Jayhan, you do the honors. You've done basically everything so far. May as well let you finish it off. Do that. Okay. Fly agaric mushroom. And the chest. Full of cool looking things. But nothing that I really want. Okay, what do we get this level? More constitution. Yes, please. I'm not even thinking about it. Give me more health. Yep, that means we just take less damage. Mainly. Uh, as for you, Tio, I don't know that you need more constitution again. Will speed help you? Yeah, it will make, give you more action points. Okay, cool. Let's start with eight every time. I lost a speed, didn't I? Uh, when I took the weapon off and I never put it back. So I think that's fair. Right. What do we want? Bairdor wants another level in bow, but not yet. I think that's fine. I think we'll just leave it as it is. And we'll go explore around this bit a bit. All I've really got to do is uh, disappear. I think this still works just as well. -la -la -la. Unless they can see uh, invisible people. Which... I think some enemies can. What does this embossed sign say? The Temple of Death welcomes only its likeness. On the mend? Strange. It refuses to transport me. I suppose living matter may not enter there. Uh oh. What did you see? Living matter may not enter. Okay, so I need to fake my own death. We found the entrance to the Temple of the Dead, but it seems that living cannot go inside. That puts us in a bit of a pickle. Yeah, it does. Uh, if I can't go in unless I'm dead. But you can't. if you're dead, you can't teleport and make yourself alive again. So I need to fake my own death. No, wait. No, I don't. If this works, I'll be very impressed. Right, there we go. Whee! Right. Joey, kill... No, Tio, kill Joey. He's the easiest to kill. Give me your smack. But Joey, you need to stay, like, right here. And then get disconnected from the group. Because you don't want to move. Don't mind me. Of course, Joey's healing from the, uh... Toxic courses through my veins. I'm not going without a fight. Fuck you, Tio.
Ugh. Okay. All right, I'm alive. What's up? Feel like I've been smacked to death with a two-handed sword multiple times. You know anything about that, Tio? Oh. Bless the seven, I am restored. My idea of when you die is that you die, and obviously That's you lose you all memories of your life. You start like, like you're starting again. Long-term memories intact, but short-term memory sort of goes away. So I wouldn't remember that I was just killed by Tio. Unless I was reanimated, then I'd remember. Right, here we are. We made it to the Tomb of the Dead. Let's see what awaits us here. A simple solution, just kill Joey. Drink the blood. I don't know how diseased that blood will be by now, being on the floor for so long, but oh well, I'm gonna suck it up. <laughs> Lovely. It's a lot of dead orcs. Uh, imps, not orcs. A lot of dead imps. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? There's lots of things I'm going to do about it. I could open up that casket for one. Right, okay. Let's think about this. Are we sure we want to open up the casket? There could be all manner of things inside. But I think I'm willing to take that risk. Here we go. Open the chest. When was the last time we fought real and dead, eh? It's been a while, hasn't it? I wonder if I can knock you down. Tio took a lot of damage unnecessarily by walking backwards through the poison. That gives the Skelebob army someone to attack. Rather than just uh, Joey and Tio and getting them killed. There we go. I guess it doesn't matter now. But the skeleton can still go and attack. Ooh, crit. Nice crit. Okay. Here we are. Get shot. No, it looked like he healed a lot. He didn't actually heal a lot at all. I was like, I was like wait, what? He healed all this fucking health. No dead. Nearly dead, but no dead. Where's he going? I have no idea. He's making interesting plays. Get tears some more strength for next turn. He'll thank me for it. Here we go. Goodbye. I think water will work well. Yeah, it works fairly well. Okay. Nope. Not gonna wipe. We'll just shoot this guy from over here. So Skelebob can get the kill. Thank you. And get right up next to him for the flank. And again. Nice flank three times. Oh shit. That attack was massive.
That attack was also pretty big. Okay, now I need to heal Tio just before he gets killed. Bless the seven, I am restored. Bless the seven, I am restored. Okay, there you go. Boink. It's only really bad daughter that needs 8 AP every turn now. Come here, run this way. There you go. Right. Cannot use Bombo. Bombo is a dangerous, risky play here. Can you stun? Not Tio. Describe. Get out of here. Did I actually just heal him for more than I damaged him? I guess I did. Why? Why is that a thing I can do? Uh, I can, Holy I can shit, that hurt. Heal bed or quickly. Thank you. No. Kill. Kill. But we're out. We're not really out yet. But we need to heal ourselves up. Back on my feet. Okay. Now, Joey, you're going to be the test guinea pig for how if we can get out if we can. Okay. The answer's no. My heart beats too slowly to sustain me. Okay. We need to heal more. It's not good. But right, heal bed or up quick. Seven, call me home. All the way up. My life is ebbing away. Poison seems to do a lot of damage, but it's kind of random. Can I get winged feet? Or will it not help me? I'm micromanaging all this shit. But can I run through? No. I know. I know what to do. Uh, it's not going to be good, but it'll work. See ya. I also have to use another resurrection scroll to get back in. I, I'm dying. Oh, there we go. As good as a new penny. Sorted. On the men. Okay, right. So now we need to figure out how we're going to get back in. As good as a new penny. It's fairly easy. We just need to go and get um, someone killed again, which basically means Joey. Joey will be killed. Right. There is no waypoint quicker. Down this way, please. Once we get down here, it's a fairly easy jaunt to over here. Just like that. And then we can uh, kill Joey again, get it back inside. Everything will be hunky dory. How many scrolls? Have, yeah, I've got a few. Split. Split like two stacks. And send that to stack of two to Tio. So I have more. You don't want one person with all the resurrection scrolls anyway, because that person could die. Oh, 
Like now I just don't want to be spied, so I need to go from like over here. And as soon as I'm in the clear, we're good to go. Walk in shadow. I played a game called Tyranny. There's a character called Kills in Shadow. He talks like this. Kills in Shadow. Uh, she was one of my favourite characters. She's like a beast woman. Okay, there we go. Joey, you know the drill. Sorry, my dude. You don't. My life is heavy work. Just crit him for good measure. Your grave opens to welcome you. Good tatty bye bye. I needed that. It's either that or find some mental way of trying to get out of the predicament I was in. I didn't think it was going to happen. So I thought, you know what, just leave it. Oh, I needed that. Okay, off we go. Oh, I needed that. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Stupid fucking poison death. That'll teach me to be a uh, guy who just goes on tomb robbing. Okay. There must be a switch. Oh, hello. Don't say there must be a switch. It's a skull. We lowered a bridge which allowed us to travel further into the depths of the Temple of the Dead. Okay. Onward. So we're looking for skulls. Mainly. Ow! I was gonna die again. You fucker. Fine. I'm wasting lots of resurrection scores, but it's been a long time since I've actually had to use any, so, you know. It is what it is. My perception isn't high enough, I can't see any of the mines. Which is a bit of a pickle. I think you need to have like ridiculously high perception to see these. I've got like 11 or 10 for traps and that's not high enough. So I think you need like 15. Which means I need to basically would have needed to spec into it or to have a set of armor that purely it works for perception. My trap getting gear. The reason my bed daughter died is because I was not, I didn't pay enough attention and I was just sort of uh, being a bit lackadaisical with my approach to survival. I was kind of like, yeah, she'll be alright. Or got hit a few times and was like, yeah, it'll be alright. It wasn't alright. After the first mine, I should have uh, done something about it. But that's my mistake. These wolves are healthy boys, but not so healthy that they cannot be killed. Time to consult the Necronomicon. Necronomicon, good book. Would recommend. No, I, d I don't know, I never read it. 
I don't like reading the occult just in case it's all real. And then I realise I'm fucked. Frostbite, Deathpaw, Dreadfang, and Nightfall. They are cool doggo names. Very cool. But that's not the sort of thing you name your dog if it's like a poodle or some shit. These are wolf names. Names for your wolf. Okay, let's kill the death paw, I guess. You're, you're in the way. Sorry, doggo. Still don't like killing dogs in games, but... Uh, it's either that or just deal with it. And... Run, run past them. I'm not about to do that. They insult my honour, so it is what it is. This is how it has to be. Okay. Blind doggo. Right. Have no fear. Ow. He's blind, so I can't move. Right. Now just attack. This probably won't hit, but it might. No, it didn't. It's all good. Killed one. It's all I was really interested in. Are you incredibly resistant to physical? Yes, you are. Not incredibly resistant to knives, though, I found. Or, in fact, electricity. By saying that, you actually are quite resistant to it, because you didn't die. So... Are oh, you dead now, though, I'm afraid. Goodbye. Unidentified brittle gold amulet. One leg. You only have to survive a bit longer, then we'll go for a little walk. Okay. Bartering initiative. If I need to sell something, I can use that, but I think I'm past the point of having to sell anything. Okay, well, here's the plan. We're going to ignore this entirely and walk over it with winged feet. Best skill. Uh, I think I can also turn them off if there's a skull somewhere, but I don't need to. A dance with its shadows. Yes. No, I don't. Okay. Let's walk. Let's walk. Hold. Our enemies have laid a trap. I think this is a, looks like a stone pressure plate, maybe. No? Oh, I guess not. It's, it's a mirage. Okay, so that was a mirage, as in a not real platform. Careful now, that's a trap. What's a trap? It's a trap. I just want to keep going forward with Joey a bit more just to see what's here. Ow. Motherfucker. Well, this is why I didn't bring everyone, so I don't mind really. Joey's the guinea pig. He's the one who's welly. Ready and willing to die. I said welly and ridding to die. Okay. On what? Look out! I see a trap nearby. Well, you can see those traps, but not all of them. This place is fantastic. Imagine all the spectacular experiments one could get up to here. There's an alchemist here. Okay. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. 
Hello. Ah, greetings, greetings. One of Cassandra's, I presume, yet rather more warm than is her preference, aren't you? And not a hint of rot. Strange, very strange indeed. But who am I to judge? I've been dead at least two hundred years, and fashions certainly do change. Who are you? The alchemist, of course. I think I must have had a proper name once, but there hasn't been much occasion to use it for the past several decades. No, no, alchemist suits me just fine. What are you do doing you down here? Why, isn't it obvious? <laughs> Beautiful alchemy. That science of the gods themselves. Yes. Before my change, I was a regular master of the alchemical arts. Tinctures for princes, wounded pride, powders to smooth skin ravaged by time. I could craft them all with ease. Oh. <laughs> These days, of course, I serve only Lady Cassandra. How she discovered a method of extending life without the use of the stone of the philosopher, I cannot say. She never revealed much in the way of secrets to yours truly. But as you can see, I'm as alive, well, nearly so, as I was many years before nature's expiration date. What do you know about Cassandra? Ah, a kind ruler is she. Leaves me to my experimentations and my devices here, so long as I honor her occasional requests for this and that. Nightmare potions, paralysis salves, essentials for one in her line of work. What's her line of work? I haven't heard anything from her esteemed brother in quite some years, though. Tell me, have you heard of our great overlord, Bracchus Rex? Bracchus Rex has overthrown many, many years ago. Is that so? Well, my point about changing fashions rings true. Yet, his sister seems to be living on quite fine. Very strange, considering their forge of soul, but... My... Oh my goodness! Could it be that he... Killed his own sister? No! Oh, it's much too what ghastly! What do you mean, what's too ghastly? Heavens, a thing like that? <laughs> well, you see, it's no secret that the great Bracchus Rex and his sister, our own Cassandra, were soul forged from a very young age. This gave them special insights into one another's psyches, and they were inseparably close. Hmm. It also meant, however, that killing one would kill the other. If, say, Bracchus received an arrow through his heart in battle, Cassandra might drop dead over toast and tea halfway around the world. <laughs> it is impossible to break a forge of souls completely, but it is rumored that certain steps could be taken. If one member of the forge were to be turned, for instance, into a half-living, half-dead creature, he or she would attain a form of immortality. Oh. <laughs> Thus, the fully human member of the pair be freed of the influence of his or her counterpart. Okay. It could be possible that it was Bracchus himself who granted Cassandra this certain brand of immortality. Yes, the great king was gaining power quickly. <laughs> I imagine his greatest vulnerability, Cassandra, had to be dealt with. Oh boy. But it is a terrible fate, you see. A lich. Half woman and half corpse, unable to enjoy the pleasures of life, but only to pursue death. To think that one could exact such a fate upon one's own flesh and blood. Unfathomable. Perhaps I can have a look at your wares. Perhaps you can. Of course you may. But if you're having trouble with the whole affair, I'd suggest that perhaps... It's your perception you ought to work on first. <laughs> yeah. He just tells you that you need more perception to actually uh, not get killed. Which is very helpful, except not at all helpful, so fuck you. Thank you. I'll take my leave.
Right, are there any books that I want? Ah, bottled voices. And a waypoint shrine. The waypoint shrine is what you actually want to get here, because then you can come back without dying. If I steal this, would you be upset with me? If I just... One man's trash is another man's trash. <laughs> I didn't mean to pick that up. Okay. Yeah, we're good to go. I think we're good. See you in a bit. Bye. We got a bottled voice. I'm gonna give it to the doggo. You know I'm gonna give it to the dog. In Hunter's Edge. Do you really just walk? over the fucking mine even though you saw it. Really? Joe, if you had half a brain, now this is you'd be dangerous. I swear to God. Can't believe you'd literally just go, oh well, derp de derp de derp. I know the mine is there, but oh well, I guess I'll just run into it. Why? Absolute madman. Okay. There. Problem solved. Suck to the skin. Here we go. So I had to mute myself to cough. I have a tickly cough that won't go away. Uh, I'll take some cough medicine for it. That's what that did. Let's go into the hidden room. There's more than one hidden room. There are several, actually. All with good shit in them, but all hidden. Okay. If only I could have more healing. I can give Tio away over 2,000 health now, though, which is nice. Oh, I needed that. I'll just do this to heal myself more. I think it actually works like that. Yeah. Because you get over your maximum health, and then it just brings you back to max health, which is nice. Right, let's have a look at what's inside. That could be... Oh, Hello, Bloodstone. Don't mind if I do. Give me that shit. I've spotted something. Now this is valuable. Yes. Okay, let's dig the, uh, the grave up, I guess. la 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 Sandra's skeleton. I guess if we try to leave, they'll be quite happy to just let us leave. I got the key of the Source King. A strange sort of pit. There must be a way to disarm it. I could use chapter disarming kits, but 
We're not about that life. Instead, I choose to run over my problems and then warp. Ow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I mean, it should be fine. They're shock mines. It actually is fine. Okay. Then over there, uh, I think this will be fine as well. This has a high cooldown. I guess it is really good. But I'd, I'd rather have a cooldown of heal to be like 11 turns off than this. I guess their damage model is you're going to get hit. It says it's resisting my attack. I'm not attacking it. What do you mean, my attack? Basically, you do like this until you see where the uh, barrels are falling apart. Or like moving. And then you can see where the puddles of. I'm, I'm going to show you how you're actually supposed to do this. Just so you know. Fuck it up. You're gonna die, but clearly the intention is there. You can see what I tried to do. I turn this off. There. They're all gone. And that one's gone too. No, it's not. Is there a switch on this side to turn it off? Possibly a skull somewhere. Okay, but it doesn't matter. But right, Joey, keep going. Druid's alchemy notes. Okay, well, Theo, warp over here because we're going to need to... I think we're going to need to fight our way out of here. Let's go. Let's read. It becomes increasingly difficult to find the hidden wall to my sanctuary. The transformation has left my vision greatly deteriorated. I've used a potion to increase my perception of how it works in time. Add eye to empty bottle for a minor perception potion. Add augmented herbs to increase efficacy. Okay. Well... That's fine, I can do that. I need to add an eyeball to an empty potion bottle. I've got plenty of them. Ah, I need more crafting. Okay, that's fine. Tio! Jayhan! And an augmenter. Okay, here we go. Where's that eyeball gone? Did I really send it to Tio even though I was joking and didn't mean to send it to Tio? Yeah, I did. Of course I did. What a dick. Right. Eyeball. Potion bottle. Make a perception potion. Yes. Then, put a mentor next to it and make it even stronger. Okay, well, I guess I can't, although I don't need to. If I do this and I still don't have enough, it's okay. There's more eyes. There's like four eyes. I've got plenty of chop options to do this. How long does it last for? 
three turns. So not a lot. Okay, right, on we go then. The secret passage, I think, is here. How did I explode? Oh, those are mine, of course. I guess I'll take the perfume bottle. It's nice, it looks cool. Like a little love heart. A little love heart bottle. Right. So what we're gonna do is gonna increase our perception and see what we can see. I guess major is the best it can be. So Jahan just makes major perception potions. It's just not here. Oh, we need to find it somewhere else. Mines, Jesus Christ. I missed all the mines on the way there and then hit them all now for some reason. Into the fray once more. Geo does have higher perception than me. Hmm. Okay. Into the fray. Theo, have some uh, eyeball back to Jayhan, please. Joey took the empty bottle back. Because when you drink things, you actually, you actually keep the bottle because it's not stupid. Did I send that to Tio as well? I might actually have a mental disorder or some shit because I can't figure any of this out. Where's the bottle? What? I can't. Ah, oh, so annoying. I literally can't see it. I'm gonna give Jayhan a new bottle. My eyes are hurting now. It's like my brain has decided that I'm not allowed to enjoy myself, so I have to just suffer. Oh, here you go. Craft. Thank you. Much appreciated. Now I need to figure out where it is I'm supposed to use this. Hang on, I'll be up back. Let me just look it up. Uh. Oh, I see. That perception is for the uh, the door with the corpse in it. That's not what I want. I want... Uh... Okay, there we go.
Right. Apparently that, that this stone head section is nothing. It's just to make the player think the area is bigger than it is. Which is fine. It's just interesting that they would leave it in the game when you don't go there. But yeah, the perception potion is apparently for this bit. But I've already been in there, so there's no reason to go there. Apparently you can teleport someone over there. But there's no need to, there's like nothing here for me, but I'll do it anyway. If I can get up there to see it. Actually, it might be better if I throw the teleport pyramid up there. I'll do it from further back. Nah, okay. I, they might have fixed it as well. Who knows? Anyway, we're. Uh, I think we're done here. So let's go back to the swamp. A party are gathered. I guess not. Not gathered enough. Right, off we go. So the Temple of the Dead's done. We've got a key. The Source King's key. Who knows what that's for yet? Not I. We want to go way the fuck over here again because we want to go this way we need to get to a zone that has a locked door and hopefully the source king's key will let us in but I don't know where a locked door is yet Okay, I think this will do. So I'm going to end the episode here. And next time what we're going to do is we're going to finally finish this bit of the map. And see what's up there. Thanks for watching everyone. I'll see you then. Bye bye.